Hello, everyone. Time flies during my busy clinical rotation, and it's already late January. Usually, by this time of the year, most of you may have completed your interviews. First of all, congratulations on all that you have achieved. Secondly, let's talk about something that may further help you to reach your top choice. That is to write a compelling letter of intent. A letter of intent is to express your strong interest and commitment to one particular residency program. It is not required. It is not a legally binding contract, but it's a formal communication and very likely the last communication before the match day between you as an applicant and your top one program. I would take it very seriously. Before writing the letter, I would recommend you carefully reflect on all the interviews that you have done over the months and decide on your top choice. Once you have your top choice in mind, let's start to draft the letter. In this video, I will cover this topic stepwise as comprehensively and in detail as possible to help you with the letter. First, to whom should I address the letter? I would address the letter to the program director and copy the following persons. Associate program directors, because likely it's a team discussion about the rank list. Also the program coordinators, just to make sure your letter is well received and documented. And also the faculty on your interview day who had a great conversation with you and who very likely want to speak for you let them know your serious interest and the commitment. Second, what to put in the letter subject? I would put it simple and clear, such as letter of intent, hyphen, my name. Then the content of the letter. In the first paragraph, I would very briefly reintroduce myself, something like, this is Chuan, and I was interviewed at your program on which specific day. After careful consideration, I have decided to rank your program the highest or at number one on my rank order list. I hope to pursue residency training in your program for the following reasons. Then I would write two to three paragraphs to detail the reasons. You should have persuaded yourself before convincing your top program. That will make your letter solid and compelling. If you have not made your decision yet, my previous video number five will help you. In each paragraph, you could describe one specific reason and emphasize how your experience and the career goal align perfectly well with the program. For how many reasons should I write? I would not list only one reason, which may sound premature, I would not list the 15 reasons either, which may sound desperate. I would prefer the magic number three. After this part, I would list relevant updates after the interview. For example, you passed step three. Your abstract just got accepted. You won an award at a conference or your manuscript has been just out published. Something like that will add additional value to your communication to show your commitment and you are continuously making progress. In the final paragraph, I would emphasize that I only send one letter of intent and this single outreach is to my number one program. Last but not least, when to send the letter out. I would say right now before February is a perfect time. Too early before the interviews conclude may sound like a premature decision. I would not send it too late either, like late in February, when the program may have submitted their rank order list. Okay, everyone, this concludes the video. If you find it helpful, give me a thumbs up and share the words. Best of luck.